This is going to be a very quick demonstration in how to add email signatures in iOS 11. I have a relatively new iPad that didn't have email signatures, so I needed to add some, and it dawned on me I couldn't find where to do it. So it's under Settings, Mail, and then you scroll down to, towards the bottom, Signatures. And if you tap on Signatures, it takes you to all of your email accounts and whatever signatures might be in there or the send from my iPad or iPhone one, if you haven't put any in yet, which I was just putting some in earlier. So some still have them, others don't. So the first thing you do is delete the send from my iPad standard one, make it a clear playing field for yourself. Now I previously copied the signature that I wanted from an email that I had sent to myself. So now I'm just going to paste it in here. But there's a little bit of a problem. You'll see that it's just doing it in the normal standard iOS font and font size. I want it in the cool size font that I spent a lot of time creating in pages. So I discovered a little trick. If you hit the undo key, which is the top left one over on the keyboard that's got the kind of curved left pointing arrow, immediately after pasting any kind of a signature into this field, you will get your perfect formatting returned to you. So I did it and there's my perfect formatting, but I thought that the line above was too long and I was puzzled by that. Now I know in retrospect, I think partially had to do with the fact that the font was bolded and I kind of took that out of there but then later you'll see when I go to actually send an email that now the line's the wrong size. So I had to go back and add it back in. But I'm just kind of looking at the different emails that I've created or the different signatures. And I did all these signatures in Pages because Pages has a lot of really cool fonts, except they don't have this one that's for VSA tips where each letter is in a circle. And later on, I'll show you how you can get the app that gives you that font. It's called Unicouncil, and there's a free version of it, and then you just type it in from your keyboard. But I still did it in pages so that I could get it the correct size. Okay, so now I'm going into my emails and just starting one to see how it looks. And as you can see, it doesn't look great because that line is too short. And so now I've got to fix it. When I was trying it. to learn how to do this, I found a lot of articles talking about Gmail and using a computer. I found nothing talking about being able to use pages to create these email signatures. So I'm showing you mine just so that you know it is possible. And in fact, it works great. The image problem is not a problem with pages. Here I'm comparing the email signature that I just pasted into settings to another one that it's basically a copy of to see what exactly is different. The line in mine is bold, whereas the example isn't. Wait, here's another email signature that I haven't used on this iPad yet. Now you get to see what the whole process would look like copying the signature from an email that I've already received. Um, as you can see, the lines on the left I need to get rid of those within the signature itself. Those are quotation indentation marks that Apple uses to show previously emailed material. And I'm just deleting those first before I copy the signature in. So now I'm going to go back to settings, mail, scroll down to the signature line, tap on that, and go back to the iCloud email account and paste this email address into the iCloud account. You'll notice while I'm deleting what's in there already, the sent from my iPad, that I'm doing it one stroke at a time using the backspace key. I found that when I have something in the clipboard, if I select something and delete it all at once with the delete button, oftentimes that deleted material replaces what I put in my clipboard and I don't want that to happen. So I did that really fast, but the undo key brought back the proper formatting. And now I'm messing around with these lines again and making them longer, but I also need to make them unbold and I'm not sure if I remembered to do that here because I'm adding 
the talking track after the fact because Apple's screen recorder still doesn't work properly. If anyone would like me to make another short video showing how I actually create the email signatures in pages, I'd be happy to do that. Um, I use pages a lot, so I'm pretty good with it. And like I said, I was unable to find anything online that even talked about using pages, much less how to do something like this, which is a little more advanced because you're adding a link to it. Um, so let me know down in the comments if you want me to do that. I did write an article on my um, website about a year ago that explains how to create a link in pages, which I will also add down in the bottom description if I remember to. If I forget and somebody wants to know, just leave me a comment. Since adding images right now is not something I've mastered, uh, my little workaround was to use emojis, which I also use a lot. I love emojis. Um, so I was going to show you how I use this Unicouncil app to insert these cool letter emojis into my signature. Um, but in trying to do so, I found that I don't have the Unicouncil app on this iPad. So I am going to the App Store, downloading Unicouncil. As you can see, there's actually two apps. There's the free app and the paid app. The paid version is 99 cents, and it gives you a keyboard that you can enable in settings, whereas the free version gives you everything but the keyboard. It gives you a clipboard so you can create the signature using just this little workspace and then copy it to the clipboard and paste it wherever you want it to. You don't really have to have the keyboard, but it's a great app. And let's face it, Unicode symbols really are never changing. So even though it's an older app and it's only 99 cents, it is well worth it, I think. So I'm also going to show you how to install the keyboard after you've downloaded the app, assuming that you've got the 99 cent paid version. It's really easy to do. You just go into settings, general keyboard. Um, but if you've never done it before, it's it helps to see it. So you go to general and look for keyboard and then your keyboards and add a new keyboard and when you scroll down you should find it there it is Uniconsole. then another little thing that you sometimes forget if you don't know about it is you have to then open the Uniconsole keyboard and allow it okay so the keyboard is installed and allowed and now when i hit the little world icon on the keyboard it brings me to the Uniconsole keyboard and if I use the magnifying glass, which is the fourth icon down on the left, I can search for all the different categories of Unicode symbols that they have within the app, and one of them is letters. So I hit letters, and now you can see the letters in the circles, and there's two different sizes that I use to create the one signature that you saw that I actually thought turned out looking pretty cool. Before I delete this fake email that I started, just to be able to have it pull up what the signature is going to look like, I decided to mess around with that bar a little bit more. And um, I don't know if you realize that once your email signature is created and placed in the settings, you can still mess around with it in any email too. So I could extend this bar right now. I thought I had fixed them all, but apparently I missed one. And I could have fixed it right there, but then I'm going to have to do that every time I send an email. So I'm going to go back into settings, try and identify the one that I didn't fix. And those two look okay, so it's this one. Extend it again, and I'm just kind of doing this by eye. So then I can go back into the email app, see what it looks like, and you have to like start a new email to do that and it's still not long enough so it's just kind of a little bit of going back and forth until I get it the right length. I'm almost there. Looks like I need one more underscore I think is the character I'm using. There, I think it looks perfect. But wait, I forgot to unbold it, which is going to change the length of it too. So I'm gonna stop here so you don't have to watch me dinking around back and forth with doing this. But 
it is really so easy to add a cool email signature and something that I think everybody should do. Um, I'm actually writing an article about it too. If I get that published anytime soon, I will include that description in the link too because it has a lot of compelling reasons why everybody should have their own customized email signature. So I'll stop here. If you liked my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't really matter to you in any way, but it helps me a lot. Thanks for watching.